This patient has a dislocated lens four years after surgery. I start off with two pairs of season incisions, followed by dispersive viscoelastic. I'm prolapsing the IOL capsular bag complex, cutting it, and then explanting it. And then I'm going to proceed with anterior vitrectomy. Uh, and then I'm going to mark for the Imani technique, so equidistant, halfway across the cornea, measuring two and a half millimeters uh, from the limbus and two millimeters across, repeating on the opposite side. This is the part where I perform the subtenon block because it can affect my marking, so I like to mark first. Here I'm testing the three-piece IOL to make sure the haptics work. And interestingly, as I inject this three-piece IOL, I notice that the leading haptic is um, has been cut. So I need to put another three-piece IOL. And now we're ready to introduce the 30-gauge TSK needle. I'm using a micrograsper in my right hand. Here I'm going to pass and externalize, uh, or I should say feed the haptic into the, into the lumen of the 30-gauge TSK needle. Here I'm adding more dispersive viscoelastic to enhance the view. And again, now holding the haptic with uh, my left hand and then 30 gauge TSK needle with my right hand. Uh, I'm going to feed the haptic. Now, these are the PMMA haptics. They're more likely to kink. So I'm just being extra careful, but I didn't come across any issues. With this case, I'm um, now going to externalize both haptics simultaneously. Um, now, the first one comes on the left. I'm going to hold it and then pull out the haptic on the other side. And then I'm going to use my low temp cautery to create two terminal bulbs on each side and then I'm going to tuck um, into the intrascleral path. I'm going to get rid of all the viscoelastic, check for any vitre vitreous and um, the IOL at the end is very well centered. The patient is doing very well and so that wraps up the case of a dislocated lens four years after cataract surgery managed with IOL explantation and Yamani technique. Thank you.